Do thank and praise the Lord for being here with you again. This is one of the most beautiful and most glorious seasons uh, coming up that I know of, except for maybe uh, uh, the Christmas holidays. Praise the Lord. We're just so thankful and so glad, praise the Lord, that we have the opportunity, hallelujah, to minister to you today. Lord, uh, uh, the word of the Lord, praise God. There's two phrases, praise the Lord, uh, mentioned in the Bible, praise the Lord, that has, that has uh, uh, changed the world, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. More than anything else, just two phrases, praise the Lord. We're coming up on the season of the crucifixion and the resurrection of our G Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, hallelujah. We find at this time of the season, praise the Lord, uh, that uh, uh, Jesus was uh, uh, with his disciples uh, throughout this week that we're in right now, coming up to uh, uh, the Friday, praise the Lord, uh, that he spent with them in the upper room, praise the Lord, eating the last supper, we call it, having the bread and the, the juice, praise the Lord, uh, that represented his body uh, and represented his blood, praise the Lord. He told them, he said, I will not eat or drink again with you until I uh, drink it again. In the uh, uh, when I come into my 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 uh, heritage or into heaven, praise the Lord. In other words, glory to God. He would not drink it on this earth again with them. Although we know that He will walk with them for forty days, praise the Lord, and know them for forty days uh, after uh, His resurrection, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to uh, uh, go to uh, Saint John chapter nineteen. Starting with verse 25. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Cleophas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by whom he loved, he saith unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then saith to the disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that hour that disciple took him unto his own home. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now uh, accomplished, uh, that the scriptures might be fulfilled, saith, I thirst. Now there was, a set, uh, uh, was set a vessel full of vinegar, and they filled a sponge with vinegar and put it upon a high sop and put it to his mouth. When Jesus, therefore, had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Praise the Lord. I want to deal a little bit on it is finished. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We know that he went uh, uh, through the judgment. Uh, we know uh, that he was judged of the people and the pilot and the courts. Uh, and the Sanhedrin pronounced the death penalty on him. Uh, uh, but the, the, the Roman government found no fault in him. Praise the Lord. But uh, because of the people and because to keep down an uproar, uh, the governor or, or pilot, the king, uh, uh, turned him over uh, to them, praise the Lord, uh, hallelujah. So they brought him to uh, the whipping post, uh, and they beat him, the Bible says. Uh, they beat him with a cat of nine tails. Now, I know some people say that uh, 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 the, uh, the Bible says that they could only beat him uh, 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 40 minus 1, but that was the Jews could only beat you 40 minus 1. The Roman government, the ones that beat Jesus, uh, they could beat you until you died. They didn't have to worry about uh, counting. They just beat you till they felt you've had enough. Uh, so they beat him, uh, and they, uh, they scourged him, uh, and they, uh, they tore the hide off his back with the cat of nine tails. Uh, it just rips the, the, the flesh away from the body. Uh, uh, and uh, they, 
They opened his body, uh, hallelujah, and uh, uh, then they placed a crown of thorns upon his head, uh, a victor thorns uh, of about six inches long, uh, and they pressed it into his head that the thorns actually uh, entered through the skin against the skull. Hallelujah. So we find uh, that uh, well, after all that he went through, uh, they spat upon him. Uh, they smote him with their hands. Uh, and as they placed the cross uh, upon his back uh, and began uh, for him to carry it through the streets, uh, he was carrying that cross uh, and people would step out uh, of, the, of the crowd and they would slap him. Uh, and they would mock him. They would spit upon him. Some even pulled the beard out of his face. Uh, just pulled it out uh, away from him. They pulled it out of his face. Uh, and they, they uh, maybe hit him with something as he was gone. Uh, no matter, uh, I can't explain what they might have done to him while he was walking along. Uh, there was two types of people. There was the... Uh, the, the people that loved him, that was mourning, and they were crying because they was treating the Savior of the world, the very Son of God, hallelujah, this way. So there was these others that wanted to see him die because they didn't want to change in their religious works because they was making money all uh, of the people, they were keeping the people, uh, they were taxing the people, not only the Roman government, uh, but the church was taxing them above and beyond that which they were supposed to take from them and, and not giving anything back to them. So they were along the street. They wanted him to suffer. They wanted him to die. But as he was going, uh, uh, he fell before his load, under his load, uh, and a Simon of Serenia was asked to take his cross or ordered uh, to pick up his cross uh, and finish in it, carrying it uh, up to the top of Golgotha. When they got to the top of Golgotha, they laid him down uh, on the, the cross. Uh, they stretched his arms out uh, on the crossbar, and they nailed his hands to the uh, the cross uh, with spike nails, big nails. Uh, they put them in here. This was counted as a hand uh, at the time. This was what was counted as a hand from this up. Uh, they put it in here between these two uh, uh, bones here so uh, that it wouldn't rip out. If they put it here, uh, the, the bones were smaller and they would rip out under his weight. Uh, but they put them in here where the bigger bones uh, would hold his weight. Uh, they, put the, they drove them in uh, into his hands, they call it. Uh, and then they put his feet together, one atop the other, uh, and drove the spike down through both of them uh, into the tree. Uh, he never uttered a word to all of this. Uh, he was uh, uh, quiet through all of this. Uh, this was what he came to do. Uh, he didn't have to do it, uh, but he did. Uh, hallelujah. He, he, he came and did this not for himself. Uh, he did it uh, for you and I. Uh, he made himself uh, the supreme sacrifice uh, that you and I uh, might uh, be saved, uh, that you and I uh, might ha not have to suffer uh, the way he suffered, uh, that we might not have to go to hell uh, if we believe upon him and what he did on the cross of Calvary. Then as they got him nailed to the tree, to the cross, uh, they raised the cross up and dropped it down into the hole. Uh, hallelujah. This was prophesied. Uh, Jesus uh, uh, said uh, in the, the Gospel of John, uh, he said, uh, if I be lifted up uh, from the earth, uh, 
I will draw all men unto me. Hallelujah. He knew what was going to happen. He knew he was going to be lifted up from the earth. He knew that he was going to hang in, off of the cross, uh, his feet not touching the ground. Uh, he knew that he was the sacrifice uh, for everyone. Uh, hallelujah. Great and small, rich and poor, not counting any, not uh, keeping away from any nationality. Uh, Praise the Lord, that whosoever, that covers everybody, whosoever can believe upon him and his work on the cross uh, shall be saved. He was on the cross uh, all day long in the heat. Uh, the heat was pouring down on him. Uh, the, the thorns was in his uh, head, uh, uh, and his head began to swell, I imagine. It might have swelled up again as big, half again as big as a normal head. It might have swelled up like that much. And where the cuts was, they didn't put nothing in the cuts from the cat of nine tails beating. They left it raw meat. And so uh, the flies probably blew there. Uh, and he was in agony and pain. Uh, he suffered a cruel uh, a sacrifice. Uh, he suffered a cruel death. Uh, that you, sinner, uh, hallelujah, and I, when I was a sinner, uh, could be saved. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. When he, went, when he was hanging on the cross, they mocked him. They said, you saved, you saved others, why can't you save yourself? If you're the Son of God, why don't you come down off of the cross? Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, one of the thieves looked over and said, if you're the Son of God, uh, why don't you deliver yourself and us off of this cross? Uh, he was, a, he was a thief. The other uh, man that was on the cross, uh, he was a thief. But he looked over and said, Man, hallelujah, this man has not done anything wrong. He's done nothing to be crucified. But you and I, we deserve to be here. Then he looked over at Jesus uh, and he said, Savior, Jesus, uh, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Uh, and Jesus looked over to him and said, uh, I tell you surely, uh, this day thou shalt be with me in paradise. Hallelujah. They both had a decision to make. One decided to go to hell. One decided to believe. Uh, hallelujah. And have eternal life. Uh, through Jesus Christ, uh, the Lord, uh, we find, uh, hallelujah, that all day long uh, he was tormented, uh, taunted, uh, and, the, and the heat, as I said, uh, was taking moisture uh, out of his body. He had already lost some blood, uh, but there was, a, there was some blood in there left. Uh, hallelujah. He was on the cross, uh, but down here in the 19th verse, or the 30th verse, uh, hallelujah, I want to read it now. When Je Jesus, therefore, had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Uh, he did not mean uh, that that was the end uh, of uh, uh, the, uh, what he was doing. Uh, he just meant uh, that that was the finished. Uh, uh, a sacrifice was made. Uh, that mankind could come back. Uh, that the curse of death, uh, hallelujah, that came upon the people uh, when Adam and Eve sinned. Uh, Hallelujah. He said, it is finished. I've completed my course. I am the sacrifice that whosoever can believe upon me, they shall be saved. Hallelujah. It is finished. Those that are in sin can be saved. Those that will believe upon me that are still sick and afflicted, if I build upon the scars, 
on his body. Jesus bore the scars on his body. The stripes, the Bible says, that they can be healed. It was completed that far. Hallelujah. He died on the cross. Hallelujah, that you and I might be saved. They took him down from the cross. They wrapped him up in a cloth. They, I think they call it a shroud. And they carried him from the crucifixion site to the garden where there was a, a grave, where there was a tomb that no man had ever laid in. It was a borrowed tomb. He didn't build it. He didn't buy it. It belonged to another man. He wasn't going to need one for very long. Hallelujah. He just needed to borrow it for a couple of days. So they put him in there, and they laid him in the tomb, and they put the napkin around his face, and then they came out because they had to make preparations for the Sabbath. Hallelujah. So the Roman soldiers rolled the stone back across the entrance, and they said, uh, he said to the people uh, that on the third day he's going to rise again. He uh, said, well, uh, I want you to put guards there. Uh, so they put guards there, and they sealed the tomb. I don't know what they sealed it with. Uh, it might have been mortar. Uh, it might have been some other substance that glues it together. I don't know. But they sealed it uh, and probably sealed it with uh, the ring uh, of the king uh, that uh, nobody could get him out of there. They didn't want the disciples to come uh, and steal him out uh, and say that he'd been resurrected. Uh, so, uh, praise the Lord. Uh, hallelujah. They put him in the grave. Uh, the disciples went into hiding. Uh, they were in a room uh, with the doors shut. Uh, they were in a room afraid uh, that they was going to come after them next. Uh, they were afraid. Uh, they were lost now. Uh, they wasn't expecting uh, anything more. They wasn't looking for Jesus no more. They thought it was finished. When Jesus said it was finished, they thought he meant it was finished. Uh, but it wasn't finished, neighbor. Uh, it was not finished. Uh, hallelujah. He... Hallelujah was in the grave. Hallelujah all through the Sabbath. All through. Hallelujah until the first day of the week in the morning. Hallelujah. I want to turn over to the 24th chapter of St. Luke. Hallelujah. And I want to read starting at the first verse. Hallelujah. Now, upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulcher, bringing the spices which they had prepared, and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulcher. And they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed, uh, Thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here. Hallelujah. He is not here. How he spake unto you when... Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They remembered his words. Hallelujah. But he is risen. 
Hallelujah. That's the second uh, great uh, uh, message. Uh, the first I said, it is finished. Uh, that was the salvation uh, that he did for us. Uh, hallelujah. But then he said, but he is risen. He is risen. He's alive. He's alive. Jesus told Mary, said, Mary, go and tell the disciples uh, that I am alive, uh, that I go to the, uh, the uh, not to touch me because I haven't been to the Father yet. Uh, hallelujah. But he said, you tell them that I will go before them into Galilee and there I will meet with them. Praise the Lord. It is, he is risen, praise the Lord. He rose victorious over death, hell, and the grave. Uh, hallelujah. Paul said, if I had not this hope, I would be among all men most miserable. Uh, we have a hope uh, that when the trumpet of God sounds, uh, we have a hope uh, that one day uh, when the trumpet sounds, we're going to go to be with Jesus. Whether we're in the grave or whether we're still walking around. Hallelujah. Those that have believed upon the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation, he was raised for your uh, justification. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to hit a little bit on this one, one verse here. Praise the Lord. The last part of verse 5, he told, he asked him, he says, Why seek ye the living among the dead? Hallelujah. Smart people that seek it after Jesus in the graveyards. They're seeking after him in churches that are dead spiritually, that don't even preach. Hallelujah, uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, they put their, word, their time into works. Uh, but I'm telling you, uh, it's not by works, uh, lest any man should boast. Uh, hallelujah, but it's by faith through grace in Christ Jesus uh, are we saved and none other. Uh, all the other gods that come before, all the other gods that the world knows about, uh, all of them uh, are false. Uh, only the Son of God uh, paid the ransom on Calvary. Only the Son of God raised himself up. Uh, hallelujah. As he said he would. Uh, there's no other God uh, known to man that can do this. And no other person, hallelujah, has the power uh, to forgive sins, uh, but Jesus Christ, and that by his blood that flowed from Calvary. Man can't do it. If man could save himself, Jesus wouldn't have died. If man could forgive sins, Jesus wouldn't have died. But man couldn't do it. It took... A, a complete sacrifice. It took a holy sacrifice. It took a righteous sacrifice. Uh, hallelujah. So we're in the season uh, where the, we're, uh, we're celebrating. Uh, the Christians are celebrating uh, the death, uh, the burial, the resurrection uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, there's no other one that's ever uh, that, that they've called a God uh, that's ever raised out of the grave. Uh, you can go to all of these others, uh, all of these others that have died, uh, that claim to be uh, a God, claim to be the leader of a, an organization. Uh, uh, you can go to their grave uh, and their bones are still there. Uh, but you can go to the tomb of Jesus. Uh, it was never seen again. It was left open. Oh, neighbor, he could have come through that rock that was over the door. He could have come through it and never even made a dent in the door. But he wanted to leave proof 
that he wasn't there no longer. That's why the stone moved out of the way. And he walked out victorious, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's time that the church, hallelujah, begins to represent Christ. We need to walk according to the Word of God. We need to walk the way Christ walked. These two statements, hallelujah, that was made, one by Jesus, hallelujah, it is finished, and one by the angel sitting there, but Jesus not here, but is risen, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Those two statements done more to change the world, done more to affect the world than any other statement made by any other philosopher, than any other president, any other man that ever lived. These two statements did more of an effect on the people, praise the Lord, and in the world. Glory to God. He said it was finished. Hallelujah. The sacrifice was done. The reason it was finished. Hallelujah. Because the priest never finished in the Old Testament. He worked from the time he came on to the time he, uh, he, he uh, 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 got off duty and the next one came on. He had to move continually. Uh, he couldn't stop. He couldn't rest. There was no finish for him in his service for God. There was no finish until his service was up. Hallelujah. But Jesus, when his service was up, when he said it is finished, he was going to go to heaven within 50 days. Hallelujah, or so. He was going to go back to be with the Father. Hallelujah. And he was going to sit down on the throne, and he is now the high priest. Praise the Lord. He is the one that is sitting on the throne of God, right beside the Father. Hallelujah. Making intercession for you and making intercession for me. All that come to uh, God must come through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That's why the Holy Ghost was sent back. Uh, he does the thing. Uh, he does the same thing for you and I today that Jesus did for the disciples in the three and a half years he was with them. Praise the Lord. He comforts them. He gives them food. He he provides for them. He leads them. He strengthens them. Hallelujah. And so this is what the Holy Ghost is for. If you don't have the Holy Ghost or you're not seeking the Holy Ghost, you're not keeping the whole commandments of God. Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. And Jesus told the disciples, and he's telling you today, don't leave Jerusalem. Don't leave the prayer closet. Don't give up until you've received the promise of the Father, which I will send back to you, which is the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And when you receive him, you will receive power to be witnesses. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is God's emissary working in the world, living in the world. Hallelujah. Now, now I want to pray with you. If you've never been saved, praise the Lord. If you're not saved, I want you to get down. I want to pray for you, pray with you. If you're sick today, you're a child of God, you're sick. Jesus paid the price on his back. He took the stripes that you could be healed. I want to pray with you. Get on your knees and pray right now. If you can't get on your knees, just put your hand on wherever you're hurting. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come to you this morning. Oh, Lord, that you would touch this one. Lord, oh, God, hallelujah, that needs you, Lord, in their heart. Father, that you would, as they call out to you, Lord, that 
you and the Son would come in and take up your abode in their lives, O Lord, O God. O Lord, that they be saved that the blood of Jesus Christ will wash away every stain. Father, that one that's sick uh, in body, Lord of God, we pray, Lord of God, that you would touch them, Lord. Minister to them, Lord. Deliver them, Lord. And set them free. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, what a happy time. That's going to be when my Jesus I shall see. When I look upon his face, he who saved me by his grace. When I hear him say, well done, and sing the victory song. What a happy day. What a happy time that will be. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Keep serving God. Keep live, living for Jesus. Uh, send a card or a letter and let me know that you've enjoyed the programs. Uh, let me know that you've got, got something done for you. Whether you got saved or you got healed, write me and let me know. Hallelujah. And I thank you for everything. God bless you.